welcome. It is Jen with Let's Get Chalkin' with Jen, Independent Couturier with Chalk Couture. It is Wednesday afternoon. I'm coming to you live to chalk this afternoon. I had some time, so I wanted to jump on here quick because I got some stuff going on this afternoon. So as you come in, make sure you say hello to me. I want to say welcome. Welcome, you guys. Thanks so much. I hope you can pop on. If you're catching the replay, make sure you give me a hashtag replay. But as you come in, say hello to me. Let me know where you're watching from. I'd love to welcome you because if you're watching it live, I can answer any questions you have right now. So super excited to be here. Welcome to all of our new followers. This is a company that is called Chalk Couture. So real quick, let me give you a brief rundown. This is a DIY home decor and crafting company that you won't find anywhere else. Hey, Ashley, welcome. We do offer a line of silk screen reusable transfers. We have our Chalkology chalk paste that comes in 38 different colors. And then we have our Couture inks, which come in 32 different colors. Now you do, or we do offer several surfaces. So you, we have chalkboards. Oh, I'm losing my thought today. We have chalkboards. We have dry, uh, box wood frames. We have canvas pillowcases and we have totes. Um, but you guys, you can use this. Yay from Mississippi. Um, you can use this on an array of surfaces, you guys. You can do this on wood, tin, glass, dry erase boards, ceramics, walls, t-shirts, dish towels. The list is endless on the things you can create. So you can do things for the halls and walls and accessories of your home. It is just such an amazing product. Now, the greatest thing that I can offer to you, it says right there for $99, is this amazing business startup kit. So whether you've been looking for something to do on the side, you want to do something fun part time, maybe you're a craft blogger. Um, you guys, this is an amazing opportunity for $99. You're going to get this beautiful kit that's over $240 value. You're going to get eight transfers, two surfaces, five chalk paste. Um, all the supplies that you need, your catalog, your apron, your squeegee, everything to get started. And then we have an amazing discount as a designer. So again, if you're looking to add something to bring home extra income, truthfully, maybe you want a career change, you guys. Let me tell you something real quick. I'm going to just put myself up here. So I have been with Chocotour since November of 2017. And let me tell you, I do plan on leaving my full-time job by the end of the year. It's just been that amazing. The products are so on trend. It's just super, like everybody wants to do DIY, right? Everybody loves doing DIY. I mean, all these beautiful things that you see around me, I actually made these and they are definitely something you would display in your home. There is no question. So people are loving it. And there's so many ways you can run this as a business, you guys. So if you'd love to learn more, just comment uh, kit or info below and I'll make sure I get that to you. Um, it's just, it's been so exciting and it is changing people's lives. And we are truly this ground floor opportunity that is just coming up. Like we are just now starting to grow and build. And what's really, really exciting, you guys, is we are going to be launching in Canada. Super exciting. Um, very, very, very soon we are going to be launching in Canada. So if you or someone you know in Canada, maybe a family or friends, and they love an extra business opportunity, please let me know or feel free to share my video if you want, you guys, because they can pre-register now. And then as soon as we launch, they'll get an email to go ahead and join. It's just amazing. So I would love to share this. Now, as we're going along, again, if you think this is the coolest thing and you want to know more about it, uh, whether you want to shop online, whether you want to be a designer like myself, please reach out to me. Again, I would love to share that with you. So enough about all that fun stuff, right? You want to see the actual cool products that we have. So this is not a surface that we offer, by the way. This is just a round board I purchased from Lowe's. You guys got it from Lowe's. They come just like this. I went ahead and stained it and then I waxed my surface. So the wax I use when I'm doing anything on wood or, or cardstock or anything like that, um, I use the Min Wax Finishing Paste in Natural. So you can get this from Lowe's or Home Depot, wherever. But I always apply this. I let it dry. Truthfully, 
10 to 15 minutes after you can usually use your surface um, but they do say to let it dry for 24 hours it's up to you but this surface is waxed and ready to go okay so I'm going to be combining a couple transfers and I'm not sure which one I'm using yet. So I know for sure this is one of, um, this is one of our C's. This is, is this a C or a D? This is a D size transfer. So this has all different hellos on it. Okay. I'm just going to be using one and then I can't decide. This is really beautiful too. So, um, and suddenly you became my everything. I just want to use the flower part, so I'm not sure if I want to use this flower or, and this is a beautiful beautiful one for anybody getting married. Um, pick a seat, not a side. I mean, how sweet is that with the Mr. and Mrs.? But again, I'm just using my flowers. That's all I want. I just don't know which one I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by cutting this all apart. Now, oops, sorry about that. Really, really cool, you guys. On the back of all of our transfers, um, there are directions that tell you how to peel, apply, remove, clean, dry, and store. Because again, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you guys, these are all reusable. So when you're done, you clean them up with water, just regular water. You wipe them off with a Clorox wipe, and then you let them air dry, okay? Once they are dry, then you put them right back on their carrier sheets and you usually get eight to 15 uses out of one transfer. Oh, wait, nice, nice. Hi, Rhonda, welcome. Thanks for watching. You guys are both in Mississippi, yay. So I'm just cutting out one of these because that's the only one I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna set this aside and then I'm gonna open these other two. Oops, open these other two. And I'm just going to cut out the flowers because I want to see which ones I want to use, you guys. So what is everyone doing today on this Wednesday? Anything fun? Anything good? Oh my gosh, I've got so much to do this afternoon. It's like crazy. Hey, Jessica, how are you? Thanks for watching. Thanks for popping on. Getting my afternoon chalk on. Trying to get this in. Crazy evening ahead. All right, so like I said, I just want to cut out the flowers because I'm not sure which one I want to use. Really cool, you guys. They have the cut lines in there, so there's no guessing where you have to cut. Okay, we're just going to play with this once I get these cut out. So we're kind of just mixing and matching my transfers. And that's the beauty of it, you guys. If you are creative, I'm not creative, by the way. Hi, Walina. Welcome from Ohio. Love it. My husband was from Ohio. That's where he grew up, in Kent, Ohio. Um, the beauty of this is if you're creative. Like I said, I am totally not creative whatsoever. I use Pinterest a lot to get ideas, or I go to the stores, like a home goods store, Pier 1, you know, all the fun, great stores. Oh, yay! That's a fun thing to do. Babysitting your grandson. Those are moments that you're going to remember forever. So, I don't know if I want to do this one. Or, if I want to do the big guy. And then just put two leaves on either side. Yep, okay. Chosen. I'm going to do the big one. And I think I'm going to put the leaves. Oh, I don't know, you guys, because that one I have to flip upside down. So it's not going to be, I don't know. What do you think? Should we go with the big one? I kind of really like that. Or should I just go with this one? Like we'll put the hello in the middle and put that underneath. I kind of wanted to do the home off to the side or just do this one. Maybe I will just do this. like this. Ooh, what do you think? I like that. Yes? No? Tell me what you guys think. And I'm kind of going to go with a very, like, it, it's going to be very contemporary. I'm using, like, basic colors. Like, I'm going with a black and a fawn and a gray and a little bit, like, I want to try to make this look a little rusty. So I'm kind of going really basic on this one. So I'm hoping it looks the way I have it in my head. 
All right, so that's what we're going to go with. We're going to try it. Okay. So the first thing that you want to do, you guys, is you want to write on the back of your transfers on the carrier sheet. This way you know what side your transfer will go on. This is the leaf. This is the flower. Because, like I said, they're reusable, so you're going to put them back on here to store them for later, right? Uh-oh, I don't have my fuzzing cloth. That's okay. Uh, no. Oh, there it is. I know I put it somewhere. Okay, you love the big one. Awesome. So these are our handy-dandy fuzzing cloths that we have at Chocotour. What I love about these, one size is for your fuzzing, and one side is a microfiber, great for cleaning. So I love these. Love, love, love these. So I'm just going to take my finger, I'm going to run it right over the edge and start my transfer. Don't pick at your corners because people tend to pick them apart. So I'm going to flip this over and remove my carrier sheet and I'm going to set that aside. And the tip I always tell everybody is if you forget to write on your transfers, there's the shiny side and there's the matte finish, your transfer goes back on the shiny side. Okay? Super awesome. So we're going to fuzz this up. Fuzzing, fuzzing, fuzzing. And I'm going to remove this right from there. And the fuzzing just helps it because they're very sticky when you first get your transfers. And then you clean them off and they're good to go again. And then I'm going to place this right here. I thought this would be cute for an entryway door. And then I'm going to smooth this out where my silk screen. So all of this, the hello, this is all silk screen, you guys. Oh, Mary, the roses are gorgeous. I, I just love them. This is my first time using them, but I love them. And you know what? I don't have my paper towel. So I'm going to try to do something that I did the other day on my live video and made it look rusty. I don't know if you guys saw that video. I did the farm. I did this one. This one right here, my farmhouse. And I did a little rusty look, and I love it. So I'm going to try to do it again. So you guys, your chalk paste is water soluble and semi-permanent. So it kind of goes on as the liquid and then dries as the solid. Um, they are good for six months once they're open or up to a year if they are not opened. And your chalk paste, you always want it to be, thank you for sharing, Crystal, um, a yogurt sour cream consistency. Okay, so if for any reason it's not, you just add a little bit of water and keep stirring. You want to stir all the pigments up anyway, and I'm not going to be using a lot of this, so I probably really didn't need to do that. Okay, and it might not show up because these words are a little thin, so we'll see. All right, so I'm just going to take my squeegee. By the way, we have several different squeegees. We have the small, we have the, uh, we have the mini, the small, we have the multi-purpose tool, we have this really, really big guy, and we have an angled squeegee. So we have lots of different squeegees. Just so you know, we have all the tools you need. And then I'm going to scrape this across my silk screen. That's all I'm doing. And I, when I say scrape, you want to apply pressure and pull it across your silk screen. This isn't like painting where you, you know, you're gentle with it. You pull this across your silk screen, and you kind of got to work quick with the chalk paste because it tends to dry. Because I can feel it drying over here already. And that's kind of making me nervous, to be honest with you. But worst case scenario, if I take it off, I have to redo it. No big deal. And I'm just going to take my finger and I want to blend it in a couple spots. That's all I want to do. Because I want it to kind of look a little rusty. So again, I'm just blending it in a couple spots. So let's hope it works. It may or may not. It's okay if it doesn't. Just wanted to try it. See how this looks. Okay. Remember, never corner to corner, top to bottom, left to right. Eh, it worked a little bit. It gave it a little bit of definition. The letters are kind of thin. If you can, let me see if I can put that up close. Hey, Casey, welcome. Hey, Marianne, how are you? So I'm just sticking that in my water. And it did. It gave it a little bit of definition. Let me show you. Let me pull it up to the screen. I don't know how well you guys can see. Do you see how it kind of gave it a little bit of like shading right there? It's kind of what I wanted. A little bit darker, I'd have been happier. But it 
it's good. I like it. So that's my hello. And then let me dry. And again, no weeding, you guys. No weeding. So if you guys, and don't get me wrong, love my silhouettes and crickets. Love them. But you have to weed, right? There is no weeding with our products. And that's the beauty of the silk screen is that it has all of the detailing within that. And that's why I love this. And you guys, if you want to share this video, I greatly appreciate it. It's entirely up to you. It's the greatest compliment you could give me. Thank you, Casey. All right, so then I'm gonna do my flower. Like I said, kind of keeping this very, very contemporary looking. I know you guys might be like, mm, I don't know, but we'll see how it turns out. So I'm gonna do my flower in white or fawn, and I'm gonna do my leaves in black. So let's see how this turns out. I'm gonna go with these first. So again, I wrote on the back already. I get visions in my head. Sometimes they turn out, sometimes they don't. And that's okay. Oh, I have something fun to tell you. So starting Sunday, um, myself and one of my designers, who I love and adore, we have challenged, we're gonna go live for 40 days straight. So right here on this page, I will be going live for 40 days straight talking about Chalk Couture. Hopefully I'll be doing projects, but sometimes I may not depending on what time it is because I'll be coming home from work. Um, but just so you know, starting on Sunday, going live for 40 days, woo -hoo! we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. It'll be fun, right? All right, so again, just smoothing that out. And do you see that, all that detailing? All right. So we're gonna go with black. I maybe should have done my sign a little lighter color, but that's okay. I think it'll be fine. All right, so I just stirred that up, taking my squeegee, and again, pulling it across my silk screen. And if you're a new designer and you're watching this, by the way, um, the one thing with the chalk paste, I know everybody loves, like some people, and, and truthfully, I have OCD. Some people like things to be absolutely perfect. Okay, when you're working with the chalk paste, you guys, um, you just need to understand that you need to work a little quick. Because if it dries in that silk screen, it'll end up pulling up because it will dry right in there and then you'll have to redo your design. So work quick, scrape off your excess, remove your transfer. Oh wow, it looks really pretty. And then you put it right in the water. Wow, you guys, look at that. If I had better lighting in here, you'd be able to see better, see? That turned out really, really pretty. And I love the detailing, love it. It's exactly what I wanted. So just a quick little tip. And then if you're layering, you need to make sure your bottom layer is dry. So I just use a hair dryer for time purposes because you guys don't want to sit here and listen to me let this dry for like five, 10 minutes, no, about five minutes. It doesn't take long to dry. But it's that quick when you use a hair dryer. Okay, and then again, my flower. I love these flowers. I just think they're so gorgeous. And again, they just, the beauty of the transfers give them all that detailing. Wait till you see this when it comes up. You're gonna be like, what? Fuzzing it up with my fuzzing cloths. And I'm gonna stick this right here. Smooth this out, yeah, smooth that out so there's no air bubbles. Oh, thank you, Diane. And you guys, seriously, if you are not a designer and this is the first time you've seen this or heard of Chalk Couture um, and you're interested in learning more, either buying product or becoming a designer like myself, 
because again, this is a home business opportunity. Hey, Shelly, welcome. Um, I'd love to help you. So just comment below if you want to comment info or kit or you know what, if you want to just reach out to me privately, feel free to message me and I would love to get you that information. It's been an amazing journey for me and I just, the women that I work with, um, my team, they're absolutely amazing. And I just, I can't say any more about the products. I mean, if you look around me and you see these, this board today, it's just amazing what you can do and the designs you can create. So I'm going to get my bigger squeegee. Maybe I'll do, when I do a 40, when, during my 40 day live, maybe I'll do a live just talking about the opportunity. Maybe I'll do that. That'll be one of my 40 days straight. Whew, 40 days straight. Thinking about that now, I'm going to need more Diet Pepsi. Ooh, need more Diet Pepsi. Uh-oh. There's a fuzzy in there. Got it. So I'm just scraping this across my silk screen, removing any excess. Wait till you see the flower. You're going to be like, what? And no weeding. I love to tell people that. There's no weeding. All right, here we go. Peel and reveal. Peel, peel and reveal. Peel and reveal. So excited, you guys. Oh, um, goodness gracious. Look at that. I love the flower. Look how gorgeous that is, you guys. Look at that flower. I just love the flower alone. So I thought that would be a cute little welcome sign when you come in. You could put this right on your front door. Or maybe you've got a nice little table, an entryway table. You could put this maybe on a little easel. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is so, so pretty. I love it. So I hope you guys love this video today. If you, again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Oh, thank you guys. I'm glad you like it. Any questions again, please reach out to me. Stay tuned, starting Sunday, 40 days live, four, wait, four, zero, four, four, zero, <laughs> 40 days live, you guys. So I hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday and I will talk with you soon. Have a great day, guys.